Today on Bloodbath and Beyond, we watched Axeman. Does the Axeman even use an axe? This film was directed by Justin Thanny. It's about nine friends who vacation at a cottage and they're stalked by an axe-wielding murderer. So what do we like? I liked Randy. Oh, Randall, how when you first walked on the screen, I knew you were gonna provide us with comedy gold. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there's some serious late night pay-per-view tits and ass vagina Olympics 69 and scissor fest going on. It's not fair. I liked how short the intro was. Justin Thaney did everything in this film. He wrote, directed, produced, edited, did the musical score, and the special effects. And he starred in it. And he starred in it. I did like his character. You think he wrote himself just to be like the only likable person? I like that there are two lesbians getting it on all the time. I like that I got to see a set of lesbian boobs, and I liked how hot she was. Liz was definitely the hottest of uh, our cast of I females. I disagree. Who would you say is I the hottest? I found Cassidy to be the hottest. I liked how awkward some of the lines were. This fucking cunt snot can't keep one foot in front of the other. <laughs> they just continued berating each other. Please, Cass, I could smoke your fat ass on crutches carrying oh. a bag of fucking groceries. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. did I stutter? Yeah, show me. All right, how about some of our favorite kills? My favorite kill is gonna go out to Brian. Axeman grabs him, palms his skull, pops it open like a jar, and then he pulls the brain out, and they use a lot of practical effects. My favorite kill is Randy's death. I didn't really like Randy at this point. He'd already annoyed the shit out of me, and I was hoping he would die really soon. He was just <laughs> creeping around. Axeman came up behind him, grabbed the knife, brought it all the way around his face, and you could see like a nice big gash. It was practical and it was cool. I wish that the face came off, but I mean, I don't think they had that in their budget. My favorite kill was the sheriff. The sheriff was doing her regular rounds to this remote cottage, and for some reason the axe man answers. Then the axe man in one fluid motion twisted her head 180 degrees as she says shit and then drops. So, what did we dislike? First and foremost, I disliked the color grading of this movie, as it was shot completely flat with no color saturation whatsoever, nor was it color corrected in post. And quite often out of focus. When people are talking in the kitchen, it's like cutting between actors and they're using like the one camera's actual onboard audio. Instead of using just the one solid audio track, they like cut between two different audio tracks that weren't mixed correctly. You've got nothing to say to me. What would he have to say to you? You know what? I'm talking to Brian, hun. Another very large issue was the story of this movie. It seemed like the story revolved around a couple's quarrel, and that's it. It followed one couple, and then it jumped to another couple, then it jumped to the lesbians. They were all having their issues, and that's what this whole movie was about, but it, like, it didn't matter. I didn't give a shit about any character in this movie, despite how much they talked about themselves. I also disliked the axe man. One, his killing style. He never once used an axe. The other thing I didn't like about him was how he looked. He was wearing like a raincoat and a titties hat that was supposed to be a Titleist hat. And he always had a goofy smile on his face. They tried to throw a red herring into it, suggesting that the killer may have been one of the members of the vacationing students, but the Axeman had been unmasked from the very beginning. By revealing who the Axeman was right away, just by showing him, it left the whole story fucking boring because there's no guessing game. You know, it's this big dopey guy walking around without an axe. I feel we could go on and on with our dislikes for this movie. <laughs> the scenes with the time lapses and the stupid music that was just as eerily in the background like some kind of a video game. Yeah, it did feel like I was playing Castlevania. Castlevania had way better music than yes, this. Yes, it did. True. And now for our final thoughts and ratings. Axeman sounds a lot better than it actually was. All the technical issues of this movie piss me off, and the story did not exist. Well, it did have some on-screen kills that were pretty original. A lot of them still sucked. I really did not like this movie. I'm gonna give this movie 0.5 lemon trees out of five. 
Is that a tree? Yeah, it looks like oh. um, maybe lemons. I had to find a way to like something about this movie and I settled with Randy and Darren being likable characters. I saw a frame of side boob. The rest of it sucked. Axeman sucked. Brian, I could not understand you. I did not like this film whatsoever. So that being said, I'm giving this movie point five grilled jizz sandwiches out of five. Let's both spank it, Bibian. High five and make a grilled jizz sandwich. Yeah, oh, it's gooey. Going into this movie, I had no expectations. The Axeman turned out to be one of the worst leading slasher villains of all time. The kills were over the top, but they dragged forever. The technical issues, the focusing, the framing, it was terrible. So, for my final rating, I'll give it half a racist joke out of five. I'm not carrying everybody's damn bags either. <laughs> but you're black. Well, that's what we thought about Axe Man. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Like this video, sub to the channel, and hit us up with a request for any other movie to review at bloodbath underscore TV or in the comments. He didn't use an axe.